My people. Federal elect elections coming up. Austerity creeping into the country. Government spending being slashed. Austerity. Everybody's cost of living going up. Banks still making uh, huge profits. Taxes going up. In 2008, there was a huge oil deposit found in South Australia in the Acker Ringer Basin, right where Cooperpedia is. Apparently, this uh, discovery could be the biggest find in the last 50 years. Could contain more oil than Iraq, Iran, Venezuela, and possibly what the Saudis uh, report they have. It's estimated, it's only early days, early drilling days, But the estimates were of the first um, drill hole they, they put in, or the, however they estimate them. Estimated 233 billion barrels. And it could go as high as 300 to 400 billion. Worth an estimated $20 trillion. Our government know about it. So do the other world governments. And apparently there could be another one in Western Australia. Now like I said the government's known about this since 2008. We have all these uh, Taxes. Always worrying about our health system. Not enough money to run it. Education. And anything else the government can dream up. When you come to a big uh, oil discovery like this, it's pretty um, world sensitive. You know, you just have to look at all the uh, trouble we have in um, in the Middle East. And that's over oil and power. But we're not in the Middle East, we're in a continent on our own. Miles from there. So imagine if the government, instead of throwing our taxpayers' money away and wasting it on bullshit wars, and paying for all these uh, illegal immigrants that come to the country, building all these um, centres for them to uh, be processed through at hundreds of millions of dollars. Reported the company that um, found this. The next stage of uh, drilling is going to cost between 150 and uh, 300 million. We give. Um, subsidies to uh, foreign companies to uh, keep them operating in Australia. And like I said, all the money we spend on these bullshit wars, namely um, Iraq and, uh, or Iran, Iraq and uh, Afghanistan, all the money the government wastes on stupid bloody uh, hairbrain schemes. Just think of the mining tax. They advertised that they reckon they were going to bring in two billion. 
and it brought in 126 million. The carbon tax, I wonder how much that's brought in. It's put every all of our uh, costs of living up, power bills, food, fuel, everything, and it'll just keep going up. You imagine if we, if the government, like us people, us taxpayers, Australians, invested in this uh, discovery. So, for instance, we took the government, or the people of Western Australia, ah, uh, the people of Australia, took a 51% interest in it. How much revenue that would bring into the country. I would suggest it would bring in a bloody heap more than any mining tax or any other taxes. I mean, that's the problem in this country. We're just being taxed to the shit house and government charges. And we have a huge oil deposit that the government have known about since, nine to, uh, since 2008. And everybody else in the world knows about it. 233 billion barrels, and that's only an estimate. There's a uh, federal election, election coming up in uh, September. It could be a good uh, ploy to get some votes if one of the parties uh, said that they know about this uh, oil discovery, and we're and uh, if we get into power, we're going to uh, try and acquire a 51% a interest and keep the money here in Australia. Most of the foreign companies that own uh, own uh, mining or um, you know whatever else they're doing, car manufacturing, Ford and uh, and Holden are both uh, foreign companies. A lot of the mining companies are owned by foreigners. And I've mentioned before, we're selling our country out and we're overpricing ourselves. But like I said, you imagine if uh, we could get hold of 51% of this, the country, and keep it here. The problem is we let all these foreigners in here. They reap all the benefits take all the resources out of the country and pay us a pittance. And that's why the country's rooted, or getting rooted. That's why they have to tax us more and more every day. The government has got bigger and bigger and bigger. All these bodies and new uh, rules and regulations they keep bringing in to try and keep us all under the thumb. So you just go and work, and, and you have to work anyway, and pay your bloody taxes. But anyway, I'm raving. Anyway, huge oil discovery. Like I mentioned, 233 billion barrels could be as, as much as 400 billion worth $20 trillion at, at the 200 odd million barrels. And uh, could hold more oil than uh, Iran, Iraq, Venezuela, and uh, what's been reported that uh, the Saudis have got, if we can believe that they still have uh, a heap of oil. More than those countries put together, right here in South Australia, near Cooper Pedy. If it's out on the web, I don't know. I got, I got it from a report that I get from America over the weekend but maybe it's in the media somewhere here but the government have kept quiet about it as far as I know that no one's uh, mentioned about it but apparently it's red hot in America now everybody's trying to jump on the bandwagon and buy uh, uh, shares in this company that um, first discovered it but like I said they're chasing uh, 150 to 300 million you know, we give uh, 200 million to uh, Holden to keep them in the country. 
And what do we get out of that? A few, a few, a few thousand people that are employed. Employed. You imagine if this thing takes off, and it's going to take off because it's red hot. How many people that will employ? Right here in South, uh, right in South Australia, Coopee. Thousands. You know, it's mentioned it may cost anywhere up to 10 billion to develop it, or even 20 billion. It wouldn't matter if it costs 50 billion. There's an estimated 20 trillion. That's million with a T. And there's 20 of them. And you can guarantee that it'll be more than that. That's what it's worth. So, you know, that's what we should be doing. We should be putting our money in there. And, like I've mentioned before, in farms, farming. All right, that's me out of the way anyway. So just um, keep an eye on it. And if it comes up, or just uh, try and um, search it on uh, Google, whether it's on Google or not, I don't know. But like I said, I got it from uh, reports that I get from America. And South Australia, biggest oil find in the past 50 years, right here in Australia. Catch you, people.